Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy, and today's lesson we've got three example solos on Herbie Hancock's classic tune, Chameleon. So to get started, you can get the free PDF of the beginner solo, and that's available at onlinesaxacademy.com in the YouTube library. And as ever, premium members will have access to the intermediate and advanced version PDFs, along with the backing tracks and performance tracks. And there's also an extended backing track as well, so you can practice jamming along with this track. So Chameleon is one of those all-time classic funk tunes, and it's really popular to play at jam sessions as well. And it features the iconic bass line in concert B-flat minor. So that puts us into G minor for alto saxes and C minor for tenor saxes. So for this beginner version, I was mainly improvising with the notes of the blues scale, but occasionally I was also using notes from the wider Dorian mode. So those two scales for alto sax would be these notes, and for tenor sax it would be these notes. There's also no fast 16th notes in this solo, there's just quarters and eighth notes. Now when you're playing in this funk style, really listen to the way I'm articulating the notes. Which ones am I playing long, which ones am I playing short, and how am I using my tongue? Am I attacking or am I slurring? And that's what really helps bring it up a level and makes it sound a lot better. So I'd recommend listening to this solo lots so you can sing along with those phrases, and that'll give you a really clear template in your memory so that when you go to play, you know what you're aiming for. Also, have a warm up with that blues scale, be able to run up and down it really freely, and that's gonna help prepare your fingers for moving around this solo. Now, if you're someone that's studying improvising, you can use this example solo as inspiration. You can take out any phrases you like and add those to your vocabulary, and you can see how I'm using the scale and improvise similar phrases yourself. Remember, premium members have the backing track as well, so you can try playing this track all by yourself. All right, so here's the beginner version. Okay, so for the intermediate version, we're starting to use some more complex rhythms and we're using some 16th notes. Now, because these 16th notes come out reasonably fast, I'd recommend using YouTube's playback speed settings to slow this down first of all, and so you can slowly work your way up to 100%. In this solo, I was using some other techniques such as enclosures, some triadic pairs, and some patterns as well. Now, if you'd like to know more about these kinds of ideas, you can head to the courses page at onlinesaxacademy.com. And over there, we've got the Practical Music Theory course, which steps you right from the very beginning from what is a major scale all the way up to these more advanced concepts. And along with that, I'm also building out a learn to improvise course as well, which steps you through right from the very beginning, learning how to improvise and make your own solos. Okay, so here's the intermediate version. Okay, so next up we've got the advanced version. It's a similar thing to the intermediate version. We're using some enclosures, triadic pairs, but we're also using some outside playing. So you'll notice there's some sections where I go outside of the key, and that creates a lot of melodic tension, which then when you resolve it, can sound really cool. So there's a couple of phrases in here where I step up half a step and I'm thinking I'm in G-sharp minor on the alto sax or C-sharp minor on the tenor sax before bringing it back inside again to resolve the phrase back into G minor or C minor on the tenor. Again, I go into more detail about these concepts in the Practical Music Theory course at onlinetaxacademy.com. So you can use this example solo as something to play. Those of you studying improvisation can look into it in a bit more detail to see how I'm using those more outside playing techniques and use that as inspiration for your own solos. All right, so here's that advanced version.
All right, that's it for this week. Remember, don't forget to get the free PDF. That's in the YouTube library section of the website. And do head over to the memberships page to see everything else we have on offer there when you become a premium member. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.